two items. I'm going to be reviewing the NYX Concealer and Contour and Corrector Palette. Woo! And the NYX Contour and Highlight Palette. If you guys want to know how I used it and how it worked for me, continue watching. Hey YouTube, so today we're going to be using the new NYX Conceal, Correct and Contour Quad. Um, I said new, but new to me, but it's been there for a while. So it says I can use this to contour and conceal, so let's go ahead and... So going in with the yellow, I'm going to use that to highlight under here. Feels kind of, um, it doesn't feel really smooth, like, to... When you put your finger in, like it doesn't like like melt away in there. I don't know if I'm even making sense, but it feels kind of rough. There you go, because I'm like moving my finger and it's already creating like a little hole in the product. And I haven't even used this, only swatched it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pat this underneath my eyes, like so. And now when I contour, I'm going to, because it says this is the contour palette too, so it's like, let's get it. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And let's see. Nope, it's not. I thought I thought maybe using a brush, it'd be easier, but it's kind of, um, like, look how it goes. Like, it's just like kind of like rough. I don't know why. So I'm going to suck, suck in. Yeah, it's kind of like rough. I'm not really happy with this, so... Let's see. And it's kind of light. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the skinnier brush and I'm gonna do the sides of my nose. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with the brush and I'm kinda just gonna deepen that up. I, I feel like that's really not a dark shade. Like, how the hell are you supposed to contour with this? Like, so this is for medium skin tones and I think you're lying because I it's like blending in besides the yellow so I'm just like huh. so I'm gonna go in with my setting spray and with a beauty blender I'm gonna wet it a little bit just because the product itself is rough so I kind of need to get this really damp so I can blend this away so I'm gonna start blending out my nose Okay, and since I have a pimple right here, I'm going to conceal that. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here, it's above the yellow, and I'm going to apply that with my finger, and I'm going to mix the shade right here too, the one on top, just because it's, it's like a caramel color, foundation color, and I'm just going to, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Okay, and I'm going to use a loose powder to set my face so that nothing creases since I did use a lot of cream. Okay, since we're using NYX products, why not just bust out the NYX Contour Palette? So, a two and a one. So, let's go ahead and open this. Okay, so I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this, and I'm just like, you know what? I need to try it out for myself. So, this is it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful packaging. I don't know why. I just think it looks so pretty. Like, I just, I love the way it looks. I'm just like, it looks so pretty. So, here's the colors right here. Here, so like I said, I've seen lots of people review it and say good things, bad things, and I'm just like, hmm, let's see what Lexi thinks. So right off the back, I swatched these four, the top row, and they seem really pigmented. Like, look at that, really, really pigmented. That yellow is screaming to me. So, really happy with that. I love how it's really um pigmented. So. Let's hope we fall in love with it and we can just add it to the collection. So this is the row on the bottom. So you get kind of like uh, two shades that are like the same, kind of. These two right here. You get like a mauve color and then you get like a dark cocoa. I always say cocoa when I'm describing brown, but it's a dark cocoa. So since I already applied the white um, setting powder, I'm going to go in with this one right here. The... Um, yellow one and I'm gonna oh it's really it's uh um really chalky like uh there's a lot of a uh, loose uh, what's it called there's a lot of fallout there you go so here it is right there I'm gonna place that underneath my 
eyeball. <clears throat> Let me just pat it. Looks like it is brightening underneath my eye. Like there you go. This side compared to this side. This side looks really really bright. So so far I'm loving it. So let's do the other eye. The nose. But <laughs> the only thing I don't really like is that there's a lot of fallout. <sighs> so it's like you're gonna it feels like you're wasting, you know what I mean? You're like <laughs> now going in with the contour brush this is by Soho. I'm gonna grab this color right here. This light brown shade. It looks so pretty. And I'm just gonna put the brush in there. Yeah, it has like a lot of fallout. Even like it doesn't matter if you like tap it slowly. There's just a lot of fallout, but that's okay. So just suck in. Going in with the skinny blending brush, I'm gonna use that same color that I used to chisel my cheeks. Like I, I'm really loving it. Like it just so going in with that, and I'm gonna chisel my cheeks. My, I mean my nose. Okay, so loving it so far. So I'm gonna go in with that really really deep cocoa, and I'm just gonna kind of like deepen it up just just a tad highlighting time I'm like really eyeballing this one right here it looks like it's gonna be the perfect highlight like uh, let me just swatch it even swatching it it looks it kind of looks like champagne -y. I don't know if you guys can see that kind of reminds me of like the hard candy so let's see how good it highlights so even with the fan brush there's so much fallout like look at that like let me just tap the fan brush in there see it's going everywhere so just applying some on the brush and I'm just gonna place it above my cheekbones there you go okay so overall so far I'm loving it go in with some blush my all-time favorite this is my baby right here the Milani baked blush 06 it is my all-time favorite okay so now I'm all done my face chiseled concealed and all that so I thought it was pretty cool that I could do a little two in one so the concealer palette what I have to say is that it's no bueno it's really not even all that I, I feel like disappointed because when I was on Instagram I would see people people say like oh this is a dupe for the MAC um, Pro Longwear and I've been like tempted to get the MAC Pro Longwear like trust me so when I got this I was like oh my god like I heard people say dupes this was seriously like really rough like it's even rough to like put my finger in it and then you get some but I feel like it's not like it feels kind of rough still like I had to wet my um, beauty blender to like blend it out and stuff because it's like really patchy um, so unfortunately what I have to say on this is just seriously pay us it up because it's really not even all that like I'm just disappointed because I really wanted it to work even when I try to use a brush it just kind of like just took some product and it just looks so blah when I try to um, contour with it but it says it's, it says conceal correct and contour this you cannot use it for contour unless you are a lot lighter than me you can't like it just looks like you're putting on more foundation you really can't and when I concealed didn't conceal sh like it didn't really conceal nothing so I'm just like eh. so I would have to say pass on this it ain't even all that that's just my opinion let me know down below if you have tried it if you loved it if there's something else I can do to kind of make it more um, buttery and yeah just let me know down below what you guys have done um if it is maybe i just got a bad batch or something and it really does kick ass and i just got a bad one let me know down below i really love to hear you guys' opinions and your guys' thoughts on it especially when something doesn't work for me and i really want it to i really want to know how i can use it to like make it work <laughs> so the last product would have to be the nyx contour palette 
this baby right here kicked ass. I really liked it. I don't know why lots of people were saying that they didn't like it and well I kind of can see why. It has a lot of fallout but other than that it's really good. Like uh, even highlighting underneath my eye I was really really like wow. Like this one I think is better than the Anastasia one and I know people are going to be like what? But it really is like the yellow was more pigmented. How pigmented the yellow was. Like look at that yellow. It just was so pigmented and it actually is yellow like it doesn't fade off to a white cast like a white a white color it's yellow the highlighting shade right here was really really wow like look at it it's like champagne -y and it just looks really good it reminds me of the hard candy tiki and i love tiki so yeah you can even see the highlight right here like it looks really good i put it on my nose my mustache mustache area looks really good the highlight is just like Ba boom and I used this shade right here to contour really really good see that color amazing and then I used the dark cocoa one the one back amazing so there they are right there I was watching side by side so I use this one right here so something just to warm up my face and then I go in with the darker shade just to kind of like make it see so right here you kind of can see the lighter color around right then you can kind of see the cocoa shade just kind of like cutting it out like chiseling it out so you can see it and you just be like damn like it just looks I, I love the way it looks it looks really good using the color right here to chisel my nose works really really good I feel like this palette was a lot better than Anastasia one like it has more shades and they're bigger and it's just a lot better like I even see myself using this mauve not for like contouring of course but using it as an eyeshadow because I love using mauve in the crease when you want to blend out something using a mauve shade is awesome so yeah and then I seen this this big white one right here this big this one right there you could even use that underneath your brow bone because I like using a white shade and look how pigmented that is like you can just use that I wouldn't use that as a highlight like boo boo no it's gonna look like ashy and it's gonna look like you need to put some lotion on but using this underneath your brow bone will definitely give you that pop so that's what I have in mind for that and then this color right here it's another highlight shade and um, you can tell it's like really shimmery like look at it right there really pretty shimmer color it's right there it's like really really bright and it has a lot of gray specks in it I wouldn't let's say I wouldn't I would probably use it to highlight my mustache I'm not gonna lie but I wouldn't put it up here because it just look a little bit too like boo-boo so yeah I wouldn't do that but oh it's so pretty and you know where I would even use it I would use it right here in my inner eye area oh so going in with this right here I'm just gonna show you how I would use it so I'm gonna do that pack it right there oh I love using shades like that for here for all over your lid it just looks so pretty and it just seriously like makes it go pop out even underneath the brow oh so yeah, I could see me using that a lot because sometimes, this shade reminds me of the BH one. There's a BH shade that looks exactly like this and I still bust that shade out when I want to pop this a lot. Ooh, so I was so happy that that was in there. This shade right here, I haven't really touched. I haven't really like used, didn't touch on, but I'm pretty sure if I mix that one, if I mix these two together, I will love this one. Like it just, it has, it's like a good, bronzer when you want to like get that sparkle kind of like a that really pretty sparkle sheen I don't know but yeah it looks really really pretty I didn't use it because I didn't want to put any sparkle since I wanted to go really heavy on the highlight so yeah so overall I would give this a 10 out of a 10 like it seriously was really good the fallout kind of pissed me off because I'm just like <laughs> But other than that, I'm just like, you know what? That doesn't even matter because there's a lot of shades in here that are going to do some good. Like, ooh, I'm so glad I picked it up. The price is kind of pricey, but when you really think about it, they're freaking huge. Like, it's freaking huge. Ooh, I just want to be murdered. I was saying nice things about you and you going to do that. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So, yeah. Excuse that. I hate when my freaking nails dig into stuff. It ooh, makes me so mad. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the review on this. Let me know if you guys have purchased this. I would say 10 out of 10. If you want to get a contouring palette, this would be one of them that I would recommend because it is really, really good. I really liked it. 
um yeah no complaints i really really liked it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you guys i love you guys and if you guys like these type of videos please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know down below what videos you guys would like to see next and i'll see you guys in my next video